Now, as the mystery deepens around the COVID-19 National Command Council, the presidency insists there's nothing untoward for illegal about both its establishment or modus operandi, but not everyone is convinced. Several groups are getting up to challenge the council's powers and decisions in court. Vuyom Voko has the details. We have decided to establish a national command council, which will be chaired by the president. This national command council will include, amongst others, members of the interministerial committee and will meet three times a week to coordinate all aspects of our extraordinary emergency response. And thus, what is currently the most powerful body in the country was established. Until about a week ago, no one seemed too bothered to know exactly how many people sit on it, who they are, the criteria used to select them, and how they arrive at the far-reaching decisions they take on behalf of over 58 million people. We don't know what its powers are. My clients wanted to know what powers and functions it has and what basis it was established. Um, we got that response from the, from the presidency, which didn't quite answer my clients' concerns. So we've now sent a second letter to the, to the presidency, appealing to them, explaining to them again what, what, what the problems are with the command council and what's being communicated about it. The office of the president says a council of all cabinet ministers, joined by the chiefs of police and the army, as well as a host of directors general, is nothing to worry about. In fact, a single minister, having consulted uh, with a cabinet colleague, the relevant cabinet colleague as the law demands, would have uh, on uh, their own been able to um, declare the lockdown, to declare the regulations which restrict uh, restrictions of movement, prohibition, for example, on the sale of alcohol and other goods. So what the NCC does is to bring all of cabinet together to make sure that these issues are thoroughly discussed and debated amongst themselves. If there's any decision to be taken that requires uh, cabinet approval, uh, that is sent through to the cabinet for ratification. The official opposition is having none of it. We're told to blindly trust a body called the National Command Council, a small group of cabinet ministers who don't answer to parliament or anyone else. When asked for their meeting minutes to clarify why they backtracked on the cigarette ban, the National Command Council refused, claiming this was now classified information. I don't buy that for a second. The DA is expected to file its court application this coming week. Vuyam Vogo, Johannesburg.